lovely, this is great. All on time, I like this, hi Edge. hi Victoria. I'm surprised I haven't lost my voice after all the talking I've done this week, but today I am going to show you my really beautiful curled sort of Elsa type braid, but it's not a braid, it's lo lovely curls coming down. Um, gonna show you on my little model here, she's all prepped, so could you do a little, a little heart if you're joining in today, that would be great. So she's all prepped. I've done some on base barrel curls with my 25 millimeter tong. Right, so we're just gonna wait for a few more people to join. Hi everyone, I'm a little nervous today. I thought I'd be okay because I've been chatting all week, but I guess because I'm doing a hairstyle, it's a bit like, oh, it's my first live on Insta. So um, um send me love if I get it if I'm getting stuck. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll get into my vibe. Hi everyone. Hi Georgie. Hi Tash. Claire. Hi Claire. Claire, your prep look good. Very impressive. So today I did mention you do need to have, if you've got them, um, some clipping hair extensions and a piece of padding. Let me get my padding. It's quite a nice big size. Um, if you don't have padding or extensions, it, it doesn't matter, we can adapt. Um, also, some little looped bands, I wanted you to have some elastic bands. Just some really tiny ones. I've, I've got black, just so you will see them in the hair when I'm doing the style. Um, but you're not actually going to see the band, so you can use any colour. So, little things like that. But again, if you haven't got any little bands, I've got a different method uh, for you to do the style as well. So, right, okay, what's the time? 10.02, right, so we've got an hour. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna crack on. So what I want you to do, guys, let's put her there. I just want you to take out the bottom rows. I want you to leave the top in. So we don't get in a muddle with too much hair being out. So just release your, release your curls. going to get that little brush through. Now, when we're doing this, if you are doing it live or not, um, if you want to ask me any questions, I will keep looking to see if uh, there's anything you're not sure about. All right, so where they've been pinned, it's a lovely, lovely curl going on. Now this style works better with more hair, which is why we're going to add hair extensions. You'll see at the end, the, the fuller the style, the more luxurious it looks, um, and it, it just looks more long lasting, it looks more luxurious. All right, so where are my extensions? So I held my extensions earlier. Looking pretty, aren't they all hung up? Right, so we're going to put them in this section, but what I want you to do, I want you to leave two pieces um, spare, because we're going we're we're to use two pieces later on. So leave two pieces out, but put the rest into your mannequin. I tend to start from the bottom. And keep your sections nice and clean, then they don't get in the muddle. Now I make my extensions, um, I buy hair weft and I cut them down, they're about four and a half inches in width and I also, I double weft them, so there's two pieces sewn together. Also putting the clips upside down, discovered this from my friend Tina, who's, who's probably on here, um, they stay in the hair better if they're, up, they're sewn, in, sewn upside down, they don't come out so easily. So if you do want to have a go at making your own, Give that a go. I do carry a lot of extensions. Um, I've got most colours. And when my brides come for their hair trial, I um, colour match them at the trial. So if they need hair extensions in their hair, I can colour match them. 
and do the hairstyle. And I'll hire them out. I'll hire them out for um, 30 pounds per bride. And I do a refundable deposit to make sure I get them back. So you need to charge, you've got to cover your, your, your cost of the extension. So, you know, you want to charge about 60 pounds for the refundable deposit, but as soon as you get them back, um, you, you can refund them the money. Okay, is everybody keeping up? Where do I get my wefts from? Um, I use clip hair. They're very, very good. They're in the UK. Uh, and they're pretty good um, at delivery. They come within a couple of days. If there's any problems with them, they're very good at um, changing the colour over quite easily. There's no charge if you send them back. So I do like their service and they do have a lot of colours. Um, you can open a trade account if you're a stylist. So well worth having a look there. Now what I sometimes do as well, because I double weft these, I will sew two different colours together. So there might be a lighter blonde at the front and a darker one at the back, and that gives it a really nice colour as well. It also, you're picking out the tones in people's hair then, aren't you? Because as you know, hair isn't one flat colour, is it? It um, has lots of different tones. And so by picking out the two tones and sewing them together, you get a really good colour match on people's hair, especially with the browns. Clip hair, yes. Cliphair.co.uk, I believe. Okay, so you can see the, the thickness now going on. She's got a lot more hair going on there now. You can almost see how beautiful that's going to look when it's done, just by the amount we're putting in. Now, you can add more, you can add less. I mean, you've got to play it by ear. Um, a lot of the time, you should do the, if you're going to do this for just to create a nice picture for your Instagram, go mad with it. Go big, grow creative. So what, because what I'm going to show you, uh, the reason I want you to leave some out, in a minute, I'm going to show you how to create even more length. Uh, I think this is 20 inch length I've got here at the moment, but I'm going to show you how to make it longer if you haven't got longer extensions. So we're going to do that in a minute. Right, I think that's what I'm going to put in at the minute. I'll just put another one there. Right. Is everybody keeping up? Let's give you a couple of minutes to put your extensions in. Good, good, lovely, yes. Getting some thumbs up. Brilliant, hi Bear. Good, okay. Getting a few yeses, so um, I'll do this. But uh, yes, you don't have you don't have extensions. You don't have to have the extensions, but um, it's worth looking into getting some to to do styles like this. I think it it helps you if you can have enough hair on a head, you can do pretty much any hairstyle. So it helps your business, and you can just be more creative as well. So I totally recommend buying um, maybe the colour of what your block is and another colour and just just have a practice playing about with them they, they really are good so you can make your own if you don't want to make your own they do sell them ready-made so you could buy a ready-made set and, and use those as well I tend to just buy 18 inch um, that's that seems to be long enough I mean I've got the odd 20 which these are but 18 is usually perfect for adding to hairstyles for doing updos you don't need them to be super super long right okay what we're going to do now, yes, they're a good investment, Lauren. I agree, plumber lover. Okay, right, so that's our section. So now, because we've kept everything pinned up, we're not getting in a muddle, okay? Everything's neat and tidy. So what we're going to do here, we're going to create three, three panels, pretty much um, uh, the same, same measurement. Width. Sorry, my words are going. Okay, so uh, if you just clip back the two outer panels, we just want to use the middle one for the minute. Okay. 
Okay. Quite straightforward. Does your clip point upward? Well, these clips, doesn't matter where you put your clips, it's just to clip them sectioned out of the way. We're gonna, we're gonna come back to that here. We're just gonna do the middle bit at the moment. Right, so what we're gonna do here, this is where you're gonna need your little bands. Um, I'll start talking about what I'm doing. If you haven't got little bands, I'll, I'll explain what else. If, has anyone not got little bands? Let's see if that, that's the case. I'll explain anyway, because if you want to do it later and you haven't got little bands, you can do it. So we're gonna do a bit of a looped braid. Um, I think, Claire, what did you call it? A topsy-turvy braid. I think that's what you called it. So well, we just wanna get a bit of volume and texture into this bit. So I'm just gonna use a bit of texture spray. Quite liking this one right now. Oh, the hair extension clips. Yes, they go upside down. They just they just stay on better. They, you mean you can you can do them the regular way, but um, I would sew some and try them. They're just very very. They don't come out. They're they're very very sturdy. Right, so a bit of texture spray. We want to get a bit of volume into this bit. This is going to be the structure to our where our curls are going to sit. So it's a bit like a. A bit like a piece of padding, I suppose, but it's part of the hair, okay? So to do the looped braid, we're gonna take one section. Tie a band. You wanna do them fairly tightly. Um, you don't want them slipping down, so. You'll see that. Right. You're going to put your finger in the middle. So you've got an opening. And you're going to get your pony and swoosh it through the hole. So it's sitting like that. Okay. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Tina. And can you see, just by doing that one, oh, she's coming off, it's creating some nice volume already. So once this cascades down, it's gonna be a good structure. Right, so when we've done that one, you simply get another section from underneath. Split it into two, bring it around the front, and then tie that. Now, if you haven't got the bands, I was going to tell you this, wasn't I? Um, also worth, if you want to, just give it a bit of a tease before you do it. Just sturdies up the structure. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't got the bands, you can simply do a braid. Braid it all the way down. but. I would suggest crimping it first to give it some texture and some volume and a bit of texture spray as well. But yeah, you could do a, a braid, but I just like the way this is um this this ends up going. It looks really pretty. So when you've done your second one, again, hole in the middle, pull it through. Just pull it out slightly. And you just keep repeating that. Actually, now what I'm going to do, no, on the, so on the third one, what I decided would be fun, <clears throat> get one of your hair extensions, and you're just going to pick those two pieces up that you've done, pin them out of the way, and we're just going to add a hair extension. And this, as you see, We'll lengthen the hair. Like so. It doesn't matter if it's not tight. You 
You also have the option, you could add the extension at the bottom right at the end as well, or add some more. But have a play with it, have some fun with it. Right, so that's those done. Everyone keeping up? So we're going to carry on going down, doing the looped braid. Now with the sections of hair that I've just put in. I'm just going to tease it slightly. My third one, making a hole, bringing the braid through, pony through, pulling it out slightly just to create the volume. So you can see how nicely that's panning out. So I'm going to crack on and get to the bottom. You usually end up doing about five or six, I would say. Now, also what I didn't mention, if you um, wanted to direct the curls around to the side over the shoulder, you can simply angle your panels so that they're, they're, they're angled slightly to one side, which is pretty simple to do. So it's a case of just redire redirecting the structure of um, what we're doing. Right, making my little hole, bringing the pony through, do another one. So I'm impressed you guys all got up for 10 o'clock today, very good. Nice and punctual. Hold, pony through. That's looking good. I'm going to do one more. It's quite long. So is that quite straightforward to follow? I'm hoping it is. It's funny doing a live because when you when I normally do a hairstyle, I just I know what I'm doing and I just get on with it. But I had to think about oh what order do I do it in and. How do I explain it? And you have to kind of think about it all a little bit more when you're when you're showing people, which is quite fun. Okay. So there's my little textured braid going on. It's already looking quite pretty just with the uh, underneath, isn't it? I mean, you're not really going to see this, but you could actually do that with all the hair and create a really nice hairstyle by pulling it out. So if you put all this all these sections into that and had that as a hairstyle, that in itself would look really pretty. Right, so you can now release your clips. Has everybody done that? Right, the next thing we are going to do is to pin our padding in. If you don't have padding, it doesn't matter, but you can use, um, I've got this, I've got the big padding that I made. Uh, you can just use regular padding that you buy, but I like to make it because then you can create the right shape and size. It's very hard to buy a piece of padding this size. So I use Jumbo Braid, which you can get on eBay. Big pack of Jumbo Braid, it's fake hair and you just give it a really good back comb 
and put it into a hairnet. It's as simple as that. You can usually make about five paddings out of one um, piece of jumbo braid. And it's not expensive. It's under £10, I think, on eBay. So worth investing in as well. If you learn anything today, learn that. So has everybody got padding? If you have got padding, well, we're going to put it just on where the dip of the head is. And although it's big, I don't want it to be too bulky. So I'm going to press it right in and pin it. So take time to pin it. I might have a bit of a battle with Penny because she likes moving all over the place. So does anybody make their own padding already? Come on, love. Let's get a tighter, that's it. I feel like my screen's not moving. Ah, oh, there you all are. Missed all this. That's why it wasn't moving. Hi, everyone. Right, let's get you to... That's it. Right. Make up by Steph. Yes, because you taught me. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> I'm glad you were listening, Steph. <laughs> oh, Monica, you do as well. Brilliant. I mean, if anyone's got any top tips as well with what they use, that would be good for everyone to hear as well. Let me just check. I haven't missed any questions. I wondered why nothing was happening. Yes, exquisite hair. Yes, it does. It gives it a nice um, bit of volume, this uh, the braid. Yeah, donut rings are great. Yeah, they're great. And you can actually undo them, can't you? And... Um, scrunch them in so even something like that if you scrunched enough of that in that would be really good as well so whatever i mean that's the thing you're already going to be doing um a lot of things that you're happy with already so it's really just seeing what i do and adding it to what you already do if you think it will enhance what you do if there's nothing wrong with the way you're doing something leave it as it is but i always think you never stop learning it's very interesting to see what other people people uh, use as well. All right. Now, if this was on a client, I'd be pinning it in a lot more securely. But Penny is moving all over the place, and it's quite tricky to get it very, very tight. Just try and put one in the middle there. better I never thought I would be doing live styling on a mannequin in my head I would always have done it on a person so doing too bad right so she's that's pretty good I'm gonna put one more in for luck I think is everyone getting their paddings on okay so I'd love to see later, guys, if I run out of time saying this later, when you've done your hairstyles, if you put them on your story or on your page and tag me. And also, I'd love to see a picture of you. So if you could do a little picture of you with your, with your um, creation, that would be really nice. It'd be nice to put a face to all the names. Because the little profile photos, you can't see people too well, can you? And I am a bit nosy. Okay, so padding done. And now we can start having fun and creating the hairstyle. So what I want you to do, I want you to just brush the two panels out that we've got here. Um, and we're going to take The two at the sides there, I think, as well. Just the two there. Yeah. And 
Now, these are the, this is the hair that's going to be on show, so we want this to look really pretty. Ugh. So I'm going to put a bit of my Tame Wild Oasis on. I love this at the moment. Do tell me what you use at the moment for... Um, your styling creams. I like to hear about all the products. So we're just going to put that through to the ends. So I'm just going to add a couple more extensions to my side areas. Um, if you need, if you feel like you need to do that, do that. It, it really depends on your client's hair, how much hair you're putting in. But I just think this could do with just a little bit more hair. Each side. Actually, if anyone can recommend a good stand, because this stand is... Um, pretty wobbly so it's the problem you buy st most of the stands aren't very heavy on the base so they they move so if anyone has actually got a really good stand they're pleased with i'd really like to know where that's come from because it's certainly something i'd like to get right let's put another piece this side so does anyone think they'd uh like to get some hair extensions now and have a go making them adding them to their kit i mean it's a great service to offer your bride as well sorry i walked in front of you how rude right okay so are we ready for the next bit yes good stand pictures that'd be good oh your partner made you one that sounds good I've got an old camera one, but it doesn't, um, there's no way to put the head on it. I need somebody to do that for me. Head tools, okay. Oh, brilliant bliss salon, I'm glad, yes. So yeah, have a go, it really, it is a game changer. I've got, I don't, know if I, I don't know if I can show you this easily. Let's see, if I go there, look, can you see? That's my collection of hair extensions. <laughs> I've gone a bit um, overboard with it. I'm a little bit obsessed, but uh, I've got the, I've got the, I've got the, uh, oh, the holder, the hanger thing off of um, eBay, and the hangers I got from Aldi. They were doing some white hangers, so that was brilliant. Right, let's crack on. Let's crack on. So we're going to start. I'm going to alternate. If you alternate as we're styling, you don't go lopsided. It's, it stays even. You can see what you're doing. So you're going to take a section of the hair. A little bit of texture spray. I mean, you can use the spray or if you wanted to use um, powder, whatever your preference is, really. Oh, Tina, yours are quite tidy here for weddings. You've got them all in nice um, bags, haven't you? They're all in zip bags, which that's a good way to keep them as well. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to be pinning this. We don't want to go across. You're going to go, you're going to angle it down because we don't want all the hair being up here. We, we, we worked with the idea is we're going to pin the hair onto this. So you just really literally, gent you don't pull it tight. You're just gently twisting it and you just, Literally going to position it where you're happy and then you're just going to curvy grip it, bobby pin it, whatever you like to call them.
onto the braid. And I'm probably just gonna pin that down the bottom a bit as well. And take your time. Look at it, are you happy with how it's sitting? Is that what you're visioning? I always think as well, think five minutes ahead of what you're doing. Think about what's coming next. I think that's quite important to do. And if you're not happy with it, stop, take it out and do it again. Because you'll only get to the end and see the bit you weren't happy with and it's way too late to change it. I'm just gonna pull that out slightly. So that's, I've secured that with two pins. Okay. Right, so now we're gonna to come to the other side and bring it in. Oh, mum, <laughs> did you, I missed your last comment, mum. Did you say that dad can make me a tripod? Great idea. I'll come over in my mask and leave it on the front garden. <clears throat> right, so we're taking a section from the other side and you're pretty much gonna mirror image what you've just done. Uh, normal pins or fringe pins, whichever you like really. I kind of flip between the both. Um, at the moment I'm doing the normal pins, but yeah, I, when I get to the padding, I do like to use the fringe pins. Oh, lots of people want them. Right, my dad is going to start making <laughs> tripods. <laughs> Tell him, Mum. <laughs> and if anybody would like one, go and join Chasm and Diane. She'll, she'll put the orders in. <laughs> That's my mum. Right, so yeah, so I'm going to place uh, another piece. Pin it. I probably wouldn't use the fringe pins here, actually, because there's not a lot of... Um, um, structure to put them in to keep them um, secure. So I think for the minute I'd go Kirby grip, but if it works for you, do it. Okay, is everyone keeping up with that? Might be a bit expensive to post, yeah. In a hair pose, are you in Australia? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'd like to come over one day, so maybe I'll bring a job lot with me. <laughs> My dad likes to be busy, doesn't he, Mum? All right, so I'm just going to use, I think I'll use a bit of um, nail net on that. You can you see how soft that's looking? Considering we used a, um, well, I used a 25 inch barrel, a millimeter, millimeter barrel, the curls gone really nicely it's not too corkscrew <laughs> oh you are in Australia yeah <laughs> that's why it's nice for us now in the UK that we've got Lorna Evans um education we've got all her um accessories now with Claire, Claire Louise hair you go to she's on here aren't you Claire you're doing this today so I've got my got a nice gold belt which I love because you can wear it over your shoulder I suffer from IBS, I guess loads of you do too as well. But if I wear this around my waist for a wedding, it's a good five or six hours and it really hurts by the time I finish because it's putting a lot of weight around my middle area. So to wear it over my shoulder is um, genius, game changer, whatever you like to call it. So um, I'm getting it's comfy. Matching, matching wristband, magnetic wristband. Who's got a magnetic wristband? Look at this. Love it. If you can get a good half a dozen or more clips on there. And uh, very, very handy. Stop you having to keep bending to get to your um, grip box. Right, so are we keeping up? We are, I believe. Yes, because I'm waffling, so. Right, so done that section. So you're literally just gonna take another section. And always as you're going, like I said, doing the five minutes ahead thing, Bear in mind how much padding you've got to cover. Have you got enough hair to cover it? Um, so think about that when you have got your client, because if you, you know, you can go as you can go a smaller padding if you want to. So you've got to judge it by what you've got to play with. Claire Louise, ah, oh, Claire Louise hair, yes. So all the Lorna stuff. Um, so the bags, the, the wristbands, they do them in black as well. I think I've got where's my black one? I've got it here. Here's one I wore earlier. So you've got black, 
or the gold, which the gold's really nice actually, I love it. Jazzes it up. Um, she's doing 20% off at the moment. Um, she's also got the brushes, the combs. Have a look, go on the site and see. But I know a lot of guys on here are on Lorna Evans, aren't you? And a lot of us have got all the tools, the curve comb, love that. And they're really nice quality. I was a bit, I'm impressed with the quality of them as well. Right, where was I? I'm waffling. Brush, brush, brush. Right, so you've done both sides, so you're going to go back to the other side. The same method again. My padding is coming apart a bit. There we go. All right. Texture spray. And also, you know, as you're going, if you want to recurl your hair a little bit, just put some more curl into it as well. So I'm going to start thinking about just covering the padding slightly at an angle, but as I come down to there. And what I'm doing, don't pull it too tightly. You don't want to do that because you're going to have a very funny shape. So you're, you're going with the angle. Where's my comb? You're going with the angle. like that. You don't want it to suddenly tight, tight here and then you've got this big bump. The idea is nobody knows there's a bit of padding there. They all think it's beautiful hair. So let's put her around there. And this is probably where I might use a fringe pin. No, I'm not locking the fringe pin. So I'm still pinning onto the braid actually, so you're just dipping under. What I like about doing these hairstyles with everyone is just seeing everyone's creations afterwards because everyone's looks different, doesn't it? Yes, Dawny, you need to get a few uh, of Lorna's bits. They're great. I think you'll really like them. Tuck into some more cream. Okay, and then you're going to repeat the other side. Yeah, little tease. And sometimes I think with the very, very ends, sometimes just leave them till the end because they have, you'll find a perfect little place for them to go as a finishing touch. So is everyone seeing why it's a good idea to do the middle panel? It makes it really sturdy, doesn't it? And the thing is, if you're doing a bridal hair look, this has got to last all day. You don't want it being flimsy. You don't want it falling out. You want that bride to look as beautiful when you style her as when she goes to bed in the evening. It hasn't moved much. You want it all to stay in place. You can see that's quite... But it still moves. It's not solid. And it's comfortable. That's important too.
also as you're going along, I mean, you can leave little bits out. That looks pretty, little soft bits. So I'm just gonna leave all that for the minute. Now I'm gonna start taking out the pins at the top. Giving it a brush. Now generally if I'm doing a wedding, I allow about half an hour to prep the bride and about an hour to style the bride. So it's quite time consuming, but it just means you can do just such a really lovely creation like this. And you're not pressured with time. I think this is quite achievable to do in an hour, she says, let's hope that I can. <laughs> So just start yeah, taking out all your pins and combing out each piece of the hair. And I think by keeping tidy with your sections, you're not getting in a muddle. Could you thread it through the braid with a stitch? Yes, I don't see why not. Why not? Give that a go, yeah. I, mean, I did love the stitching yesterday with Lorna that we did. So, um, yeah, I don't see why not at all, Ange, do that. Oh, look, Tina said good idea. If Tina thinks it's a good idea, I think it's a good idea. So guys, if you're doing this by yourselves, take time with your curls, put the curl cream through them, anything to make your curls shine. I really like, um, in case I don't get time to show you, I love the Waxkin Blast, the uh, Redkin Wax Blast. I talked about that a lot this week. Also, I'm loving this. It's called Brazilian Blowout. It gives it a really, really lovely shine. Um, so hopefully I'll have time to show you this, but what you could do, each piece you're dressing out, each curl before you pin it, put your product on it before you pin it. I'll try using a bit to show you, I don't know if it will show on camera how um, shiny it is. And it smells like a Terry's chocolate orange, which um, I quite like, in a good way. Yes, I agree, um, Emma. Yeah, you could easily get on the dance floor and chuck some shapes with this hairstyle and it isn't going to move. It is funny because when you do the trial, you've done the hair and they kind of walk about like this when you've done the trial. And says, no, you can move. You can move your head. It's all good. Okay, so I've brushed all mine out. Another thing I'd suggest as well, when you have more time to do it, um, we want to get a lot of root lift on this. So I did curl it on base. On base means it's sitting on the top of where the section was curled. Off base means you've dragged it down. Does that make sense? So I often use heated rollers. They're very, very good. Um, Sometimes with this style, I will put them just in the crown area, but I didn't want you to have to find too many things. And I didn't know who had heated rollers, so I thought I'd tong it. But yeah, I do love a bit of a heated roller. Um, got a top tip from Claire Louise the other day where she will use the, she will tong it. 
And then she would put the roller, um, the hair around the roller and leave it to set, which I thought was quite a good idea. What did you call it, Claire? Double, double, double prep, was it? I think that was, I thought that was a really good idea. Uh, another thing, back comb. We love a bit of back comb. So I'm just gonna give the roots a gentle back comb. And another brilliant thing to do is I've got a pair of mini crimpers and I crimp the root. Put a bit of spray on first, a bit of strong spray, then crimp it. And you'll see it just, it just sits amazingly and creates such a lot of volume. Right, I shall try. I'm going to go the redkin. And that just can you see? You can see. I don't know if you can see it, but it really the redkin just really smooths it. Still gives it structure, but gives it a nice shine as well. Makes it flexible. So we're going to start pinning this gently again, gently over the padding. Don't pull it tight. Let the hair almost just sit there and, and see where it wants to go. Maybe a bit of texture spray. Claire Louise, yes it does, doesn't it? Lots of control. Right, so this is where I'm probably going to use, I like using the Maya fringe pins. I just want to explain how I use the fringe pin. So it's sitting on the padding. I lift a bit of the padding on one side, take the fringe pin over, push it all the way around, and then tuck it in. It's nice and secure. Now what's Another good thing for having padding on the head is all these pins are going in the padding and not in the client's head, which makes it a lot, lot less um, uncomfortable for the whole day as well. Love the HTZ from Lorna Evans' website. Ooh, is that a tool? Don't know what that one is. So again, I'm just going to leave that for the minute, I think. I think I'm going to, what I'm going to do is get the, get the padding covered and leave the ends just for the minute. So you're creating a nice finish. Yeah, that wax is a game changer, I'm telling you. You know, focusing, bearing in mind, thinking five minutes ahead, am I covering the padding? Is it going to be covered with all this hair? Have I put too much hair in one section? Spread it out. And again, work from side to side. So you're keeping your... Angles covered. Oh, for root volume. Oh, okay, I'll have a look. Thank you, Emma. You can just see how pretty these curls are because they've been left in their um, prepped till the end. They've got a lot of bounce in them. They haven't dropped. And what's great with this is the hair almost looks loose, but it's not loose. Every, every, nearly every bit of this hair is actually pinned into place which means also, especially for a wedding, it's not gonna drop. And I think that's a great selling point to a bride because you know it can be a really hot day, it can be a really humid day, it can be damp. And as soon as humidity or rain gets onto a hairstyle, that's the end of it. So even if the bride's boiling hot and sweating, there's still root lift, there's still volume. So I'm hoping yours is all starting to take shape. If it's windy, yes, wind is my enemy. 
with hair. I had a photographer that went and took the photos before the wedding and she took the girls outside and it was so windy. So it's, it's a pain for us all in the wedding industry. There was a lot of quick touching up to do before they, uh, before she went and got married. So can you see like my padding is on its way to being covered? And you've really, you're going to go each piece at a time, looking where to put it. I kind of say it looks a bit, it's a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Each piece has a, has a place to go. And you're looking for that, that place to go. And each time you do this hairstyle, it's going to look a little bit different as well. <laughs> I thought you might, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to bring another bit down from the top. And we've got so much hair to play with here, it's hair is wonderful. So again, the root lift, do whatever you like to do to get root lift. We've all got our little ways of doing things, haven't we? guys I'm going to speed up a little but you can obviously take your time so you're literally just each section you're bringing down putting it into place working out the best place for it to go Right guys, what I will do, if we do run out of time, I'll just um, go off and come on again, okay? I'm going to just speed up a little. Time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? can't believe it's gone so quickly. And then your front section, the normal rules apply. Have a chat with your bride. Does she want some on her face, off her face? You can do a quiff. Quiff would be nice. Or nice soft bits around the face, framing the face also is beautiful. So your top section, the last bits of section that you're doing, are the bits that really dress this hairstyle. So, you know, really try and give them that wow factor. Also, what I meant to say as well, do come back if we, we are going to have to turn off, I think. Um, I've got a little um, clever little surprise for you of how to create another beautiful hairstyle within this hairstyle. So it's, it's worth tuning back into because I think it's a game changer. And there's a few of you that know it, isn't there? And I think you're going to all um, say it's a bit of a game changer as well. It's a really fun thing to be able to do for a bride. It's pretty much turning it into another hairstyle. So the bride could theoretically have a updo and a downdo. So downdo for the wedding and then maybe have an updo for the evening.
So how's everyone getting on? Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to end it and then I'm going to come back. So is everybody happy with that? Because we've got a couple of minutes to go and then I can crack on and show you the end result, show you the other hairstyle we can quickly turn this into within five minutes, which is amazing. Um, and also put some accessories in. Um, I think that'll be fun as well. Okay, so I'm going to end it and I'll try and get back as quick as I can. Okay, so <laughs> I was a little bit nervous. Um, it's quite surreal being in your lounge talking to yourself, but not talking to yourself, if that makes sense. Well, it used to be my lounge. It's now my studio. It's a working room. Right, so we're basically now, like the jigsaw puzzle method, really, pinning our hair to create this beautiful shape. So take your time, look at your shape. Is it working? Does one piece not, is the one piece not sitting right? Are you doing the angle a bit wrong? Does the angle need to, to slope down a bit more? So, you know, take it out and do it again if, it, if it's bugging you. I think this is looking pretty. Hi everyone, you're all back on, good. <laughs> I did think I'd be able to do it in an hour. I think it's because I've been talking. You know, so always looking at your shape. So another thing I do, guys, um, I don't know if you do this in your business already. I, um, I also, as well as hiring out the hair extensions, I also hire out hair accessories, bridal hair accessories. And it, it's, it's a great thing for your business because you're creating um more money well for one thing and another thing is when your bride comes for her hair trial you've got everything there i mean what the perfect place to try a hair accessory is in the hairstyle that she's going to have on her wedding day so i hire them out um they can purchase them as well if they wanted some people like to keep things as a keepsake so there is the option to buy and I can order them as well, but it works really well. And again, I take a deposit as well, a refundable deposit once I get them back. When I go to the wedding, I take a padded envelope with my address on so that they can post them back to me. And it, so far, it's, it's been, I've been doing that a few years now and not really had any hiccups. So you do have to do the odd chase, but um, I've got them all back so far. I know some of my friends have had pro a few problems with it, but I think if you charge a big enough deposit, they'll send them back. You also get to know your accessories, so you know what hairstyle you're doing on a, on a bride for a trial. You know what accessories are going to work really nicely with that hairstyle straight away. Which I think looks good as well. It makes you look like you know your stuff. So I'm kind of enjoying using this one now. Can't really see the name. Brazilian Blowout, it's called. I'm gonna get closer. I think the words are backwards, aren't they? <laughs> shine spray, it's a nice shine spray. And if you could smell it, Terry's chocolate orange, imagine that, but a nice, nice one in a hair product. It's, it's gorge. So, Ange, was it you that's having a glass of wine now? Isn't it 10.30 where you are in New Zealand? <laughs> I said to Ange, I, I, I could do with one now as well. 
nice little gin and tonic while I'm doing this would be nice. Uh, so is everyone keeping up and how many, how many, um, sorry, is everyone keeping up and have you got any questions is what I meant to say. Dordy, deposit. Well, the accessories I do, I charge £30 for hire and £30 um, refundable deposit, so £60 in all. Um, I am going to review my prices though because um, postage goes up and it's just products are going up aren't they as well so I'm going to have a little look and might do a little more than deposits definitely for the hair extensions at the moment I only charge £30 refundable deposit for the hair extensions but I think that needs to go up to I don't know what everyone else charges let me know if you do them but I'm thinking £50, £60 pound. haven't done the front yet I'm going to do the front last so keep your front sections to the last bit what I'm doing with the top section is just bringing it back slowly in a um, kind of a fan fanning it out so everywhere you look it every every angle looks nice which I think is also another important factor to remember when doing a bridal hairstyle. This hairstyle is going to be photographed from all angles. So you want every angle to be looking amazing for your bride. And I often say, or call something like this, it's a bit like hair art, isn't it? It's, it really can end up looking like a work of art. And most people coming for a hair trouble have never have had anything like this. So they're usually really, really pleased with what their hair can do. Yeah, who said that? No, Siren Art. I charge for extension higher, but not, yeah, do a deposit. Now, the top, I'm just starting on the top. So each section you do, I mean, usually I'll be working in front of a mirror, so I'm gonna use you guys as a mirror, I think. So it's keeping the shape balanced each side, keeping the sides soft and each section, you're pinning each section at a time. So working out where it sits best, um, you could do it going right over the top. If you want it more relaxed, you just bring it around to the side slightly. Use your tail comb just to move it around into position. I mean, you're welcome to use fringe pins if you want to pin it um, until you're ready to pin it securely. If you just want to put it in place, which um, I do do that sometimes. So I could just chuck that there now and then play with it. Tell you what guys, you do not get through some pins, don't you? <laughs> Mine is brand new CLB hair. <laughs> I used my other one the other day, but yeah, this is a... Uh, I've literally had her this one about a month. She's brilliant. But they still, when you brush it though, the hair does still come out quite a lot. So yeah, if you want to put a fringe pin in and, and be more, um, be happy with where you've positioned your hair before you start pinning it properly, then by all means do that. So do you all understand the top bit? What you got to do? Oh, come on, you're not in camera, Penny. Uh, I've got this mannequin from Uliana Astor, but it's in Australia. So if you're UK, it's a hell of a lot of money to pay postage. I bought one with somebody else and we shared the cost, but um, Pivot Point are good. And I always forget the name of the other one. If someone can remind us, um, Le Image or something, is it? They, they seem to be doing one, but apparently salon services do pivot head as well, pivot point as well, we found out yesterday. So, and I think they have them in stock. Lit image, that's it. Thank you, Tina. Okay, so we should be pretty much pinned. Might have a few soft bits down, just leave those till the end. Um, but we now want to focus on the front. So like I said, 
this is where I like you to go a bit freestyle, do your own thing. So you can, you could go quiffy if it works, um, middle parting, side parting. Where's my little coat? There we go. I'm going to go over to the side slightly. Now I do think with this look though, it does, a quiff can be good, a quiff can work, but I, I like this where it's very, very soft. There's my wax blast. And you want to frame the face. Now the important thing with framing the face make sure you don't have a gap in the hairline always work the hair down the hairline bit of a zigzag way if you want to um otherwise you end up with gaps so do you see what i mean by that always follow the hairline so the hair is sitting down see, i've got a bit of a gap there look oh dear right pull that out so you've got a flow of hair going on and then you're literally just going to Pin these sides as you have been doing with the rest of it. I'll put a bit of Tame Wild on mine. So what I'd like you to do today, guys, when you've done your hairstyles, I want you to take time to photograph them. Find a perfect little spot in your house, like with a plain wall, a plain background. Think about what's behind you. If you can be near a window and get natural light, that would be great. If you've got a ring light, use it. Um, and I want you to take time getting the angles, working out how this hairstyle looks best on camera. It's so important. You can make the best hairstyle to take a photo of and take a really rubbish photo and it won't look anything. So. Think about that. Think about the composition of your photograph, guys. And I, I can take, I mean, I'll, I'm going to do it as well, but I'm probably going to take about 30 photographs of this hairstyle. And I'll only use one. So have fun with it. I even try and get clothes on her as well. So I try and get things around her shoulders. So sometimes with these, if you're just doing the back shot, you could... The, pur the purpose for me for getting shoulders was to try and do a photograph of it without somebody knowing it's, it's not a real person. So have a play with that. So use your judgment about how much hair you want to be out. If you're doing this on a bride, work with her. She likes that, you know, she, this is the bit she can see. This is the bit she gets a bit difficulty with because she, that's the bit she's looking in the mirror, seeing all this hair. So work with her to see how much hair she likes. I mean, I've, I can often do this, and I'm looking in the mirror at my a bride while I'm doing it. And you kind of, her face is almost like a eureka moment. It really smiles when you, you get that balance right. You see it happen. So that's always good as well. How's everyone going? <laughs> Pretty pleased by Katie. Do you know what, Katie? I actually, um, I've tried that this morning. Um, I saw it somewhere and I was going to put her in a dress with the bubble wrap shoulders, but I just knew it was going to fall off or something. <laughs> so I've actually prepared it over there for later. So I may, you may well see her in a, a dress with some shoulders. That's a, such a good idea. And I have some bubble wrap lying about and it's really easy to do. So I just rolled it up and I saw someone had stuck it onto the shoulders, but I just, I've put it into the dress, into the shoulders. And that, that seems to be working, but I'll give it a go later. The top tip, we'll have, we'll have whole people soon, won't we? We'll be doing bodies and we'll be doing legs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have our own virtual doll to style person. Oh 
okay so really um you should be getting to where you're just pinning pieces into place if you've got any little tendrils out still see if they're working for you how they're sitting or do you want to pin them in a little bit more take your time having a look um put your product on it do your curl cream make shoulders for your mannequin with a coat hanger oh that's a good idea if you've only got a head without shoulders love that i think quite a few of you haven't got the shoulder ones have you so so like a triangle a triangle hanger i suppose Anyhow, okay, that's a good idea. I'll try that because I've got my other mannequin as well. So the only thing I'm finding with my mannequin at the moment, well, I've been using her so much the last few weeks, the ends are getting very wispy. So I'm actually going to give her a haircut um, this week. I'm going to take about two inches off, I think, because there's no need for those wisps to be on there. They're not doing anything. They just become a bit of a pain in the arse. So a little tip I've got, um, if you want to get rid of an end, tuck it in. Let's go closer. Can you see? You're going to get your curvy grip. Wrap it around your grip and then literally just pop it into the hairstyle. And it disappears so anyone that knows me knows i'm i hate seeing um curvy grips on a finished hairstyle you need to keep those grips hidden as i say that i can see one so yeah you know if you can see it everyone can see it you don't want that popping up in a photograph do you yeah these wispy bits are not great so let's get rid of those So pull it, pull it about, adjust it, put your finishing spray on. Oh, good treatment. That sounds a great idea. I think I'll do that on me and her. <laughs> that would make a good post, wouldn't it? If what I think had gone bonkers. So my wispy bits, you don't want too many to be down. You just want that the right amount. So again, have a little play, what works. And gent don't pull them back tight. Just almost just so they're sitting like magic. But you've actually pinned them. Another thing I was going to do to this actually is I think I'm going to shape the sides down a bit. I'm going to shape it slightly because I think, you know, you get clients where it's just too long at the front, isn't it? I quite often say to clients, I can cut that. I'll just cut, I'll shape that in if you don't mind. And they usually let me. So yeah, I think that needs a good, I'm going to do it now. Where's my scissors? Give that a little trim while I remember. That's better. That's a better length already, isn't it? Like that. I'll do the same on the other side. Perfect. Right. So, how's everyone got on? Yeah, I find that. I think sometimes um, the brides actually want it off their face, but the style looks so much nicer with it on their face, doesn't it? So it's coming to that happy medium and almost just be in control that you know best and try and get them to understand that in a good way because um, it does make a difference. And also, I also say to my brides, bring someone with you for a hair trial because um, 
it's great that somebody they know can look at them and, and tell them if they think the hairstyle looks nice or not. Because often when someone's had a hairstyle they've never had before, they're not sure if it's right for them. I'm always trimming hair on wedding days. Oh, so am I. <laughs> That's really truly am. We should get them to sign something. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm, I'm going to stop fiddling, but you know, once we've finished, ha play with it for another 20 minutes, be happy with it, you know, make it how you want it to be. I'm actually going to as well, because I want to do a nice photo to show you guys today as well. So, oh, it's a pin, I can see a pin, hold on. So, I'll let you just quickly finish up. Um, tell me when you're ready, because then I want to show you the surprise hairstyle. Um, but while you're doing that, I'm just going to put some accessories in. And have a sip of water, because... So, I'm just going to have a play with some accessories. Now, something that works well in here is if you have a hair vine. Hair vines are great for this hairstyle. So I've just got these. So I'll just have a little play with them. See what they look like. Must be time for wine. <laughs> oh, if we hang on till midday, we could all have one together. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> and it's quite nice to chuck an accessory down the bottom as well. Let's see if I can get her off easily to show you. So if you can imagine this as well, if you do it over to the side, as the, the picture I advertised, the pink one, it sits beautifully on the shoulder. It's quite nice to have it on the side for a wedding because all the photos where she's at the front, you're seeing her for the front, if she's got the hair draped around the side, it looks really, really nice. Um, but it's the wow factor at the back as well, isn't it? It's a little bit. Those wispy ends are coming off, I'm telling you. Doesn't she look pretty? So I hope you guys have all managed to keep up and done the same. And don't forget, I'm, I've done this style a lot. So if you're not happy with it, just keep practicing. Keep doing it. So I'm going to show you how to turn this to even a wowier hairstyle. I'm just going to take those two out at the bottom. So this is the magic trick. You need your pins ready. So get your, if you've got any, um, oh, they're two and a half inch, the longer ones, so not your regular. You've got ones that are a little bit longer. These are quite good for this because you need a bit of a sturdy bit. We can keep the accessories in. Thank you, Debbie. That's a good idea, Emma. Screenshot it. It is going to, I don't know where this is going now. It's gone on to IGTV. I know that much because the other one did. And it's actually today, it's progressing this week. So now it hasn't gone in my story. It's, let, it's allowed me to save it onto my um, phone. So somehow I try and get it out there. <laughs> but it should, the, the beginnings on IGTV, hopefully I can get this on as well. Right, so simply what we're going to do, we're going to just move the tail, if we call it a tail, shall we? And you're literally just going to bring it around to the side and you're going to roll it and you're going to pin it.
And this then creates a beautiful side curled updo. Now, what you could, how you could sell this is you could say like, you can come back later and do this for them. Because I wouldn't suggest getting a bride to do it herself. She could even have this as her look during the day for the service and then take it down for the evening. That would look really nice as well, wouldn't it? Quite like the idea of that actually. So it's almost come down in the evening, it's a little bit more relaxed, but it's still beautiful. Obviously put a lot of pins in, you don't want it to fall out. But what's lovely with this as well today, you can, um, today, you do two photographs. So you can take a photograph with it all up, get a good photograph, put your accessories in, then you can change it, take it down, do some more photos, put different accessories in, put a different outfit on, so it looks like a totally different hairstyle. And then you've got loads of pictures for your Instagram then. So does everyone like that little surprise at the end? Doesn't she look pretty? So has anyone got any questions? And has everyone been able to do it as well? I'd like to know if you've been understanding me. Yes, early on. If you stitch it, she could take it out herself. That's a good idea. I like that. Yeah. Because, yeah, this could be the, 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 the look for when she gets married and then it comes down. But I literally put four pins in and it, it, it feels secure. It feels great. So I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to see your end results um, on your story, tag me, or on your, pa on your page. Um, even, you could have a little experiment if you don't do this already, and when you're taking photos, just do a little video around the back of the head, do a really slow video, you know, showing off this hairstyle. This is your requested looks, I know, I think so as well. And did you, is yours quite, he was at Katie? Pretty pleased by Katie. Do you do this? Is it quite similar to how you do it? Because it's really interesting to see how everybody does this look as well, isn't it? Finding it hard to cover the padding. Um, you can use, a sm the reason for that, you, you, you might not have enough hair. So you could just use a smaller bit of padding. Um, the more you do the style, you get to know what size is best for you. The padding does give it a nice shape there, so I think it's nice to have the padding. Or you add some more hair, so clipping, clipping extensions. So don't worry too much if you can't cover the padding. Um, just If you know what to do to rectify it another time, you're, you're fine. Don't worry. Um, anyone else, have you all done it? I think we didn't do too bad. An hour and 20, 26 minutes. But it's quite a, quite a complex hairstyle, isn't it? So I really hope you've all enjoyed it. I was just don't think I wanted to tell you anything else. Let me have a little look. I did make some notes. You've done your photo, you're going to do your photos. But yeah, I think definitely try and get two photogra photographs out of these two hairstyles. Um, it'd be great. Oh, you are, sorry, I didn't. London Police. <laughs> yes, Stuart, you can stick to your artwork, the London Police. Okay, yeah, Monica. So, but you know where you've gone wrong or what you need to do to make it work, don't you? So, it's at least you've got involved. I think that's really, really good. And if anybody is going to do it later, hasn't done it live, um, do post it because I'd love to see everything. And don't forget, I want to see what you look like. So, do a little picture of you with your model. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's it. Um, I've really, really enjoyed this week. And I know a lot of you have come along and um, been with the live chats every day at 10am, which it's been so much fun. Really enjoyed it. I've forgotten I'm even in isolation. Um, I will be having a very large gin and tonic at midday. <laughs> I'll cheers you on my story. I'll have one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'd like to do more live styling. If you, if you want me to let me know, uh, maybe I could do one once a week or something like that, maybe every Saturday. But yeah, if you, if you wanted me to do more, I've got tons more hairstyles that I can show you. Um, 
and I hope you've got creative and enjoyed it. What are I sewing stitch for in the day? So, yeah, padding, a, so a sock's great for padding. Anything around the house, really, you can use as padding. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you so much as well. I'm loving all the love. It's really nice, thank you. Um, the, the comments take a while to come up. Do a poll. Do a poll on which style to do, do a poll. Poll, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Charlotte. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I could do that on my story. Okay, maybe I'll pick two hairstyles and we can see who, who likes what the most. And maybe I'll do one next weekend. Um, let me mull that over, over my gin and tonic, okay? So thank you guys. I've kept you for too long. Go and enjoy your day and I shall be back. Um, I'll let you know when, okay? So thank you. I've enjoyed it. I've done some on-base barrel curl. 